2018 F-150. Place rear brake pads and rotors. These rotors are warped. Pads aren't too bad. So, you need to do is jack up the vehicle. You want to break the wheels, lugs loose first. Jack it up, support it. Remove your tire. Remove your caliper. Got e brake system on the 13 millimeter bolts and the uh, calipers. And then remove the caliper. And then we'll remove the caliper bracket. And then we'll remove the rotor. You want to also do is unplug your caliper here. Right here, awesome. By pushing in the down on and pull it out. Ah, you gotta get a something to push down on. See if we get in there with a pick, pick it up. I push down on with a small screwdriver right here and pull down the connector. And then pulled off, okay? I tried sticking a pick in there, but it didn't work. But you can, you can still see it inside there. Pick it up a little bit. Okay, so we got these two bolts out, so now you can take your caliper off. Next, you want to remove the caliper bracket bolts. Caliper brackets are 24 millimeter. You need a big long breaker bar ratchet. Break them loose and then get them out. I want to put a pair of vice grips on a wheel stud so the rotor doesn't fall off. You use a nut. And you always forget about the nut being on, eh? So, caliper bracket bolts, and you're humongous. So, you both put them out. Remove your rotor. If your rotor's stuck to the hub, and you have to hit it with a hammer, three pound sled, you put some penetrant around it. You lay it on a rotor. If you replace the rotor, that's fine. If you don't replace the rotor, you gotta hit them in between the studs, and carefully not to hit the stud. Okay? Before you put your new rotor on, make sure your hub is clean, no rust. This has been replaced before, put anti-seize on there. So if it's clean, put some anti-seize on it, it's in there. If it's not clean, then you gotta get the rust off of it and clean it up. Wire brush or a, or a little grinder with a disc on it, okay? A little bit of anti-seize on there. Make sure your new rotors match your old rotors and then put your rotor on. You got the new rotor on, put vice grips on. I always sometimes use a nut, but I always forget to take the nut off on a new rotor. Make sure you use soap and water or a windshield washer solvent or even Windex to clean them. Do not use brake clean. Next, we're going to clean up the caliper bracket. Remove the pads and remove the bundle clips hardware out of them. Next, you got to clean these surfaces up, get all that rust off of it. I use a die grinder with a disc on it. I just scratch it and I'm removing your metal. Make sure you lube your caliper slide pins and make sure they're not frozen. I use uh, dilated grease or sylvide or the lube that comes with the brake pads. Okay? Okay, I clean up the surface. Get them nice and shiny. Next thing I'll do is I'll paint them. I'll put some tube light on my slide pins. Okay? If they're frozen, stiff. And you'll need to replace the caliper bracket or the complete caliper assembly with the bracket. Okay. Okay, I painted the area that I cleaned up. And I'll put my abundant clip hardware on there. And then I'll mount my bracket. Put the clips on there. Start them on an angle. And then you can just twist them on. Okay. Start them on an angle like that and grab hold of two hands and push them on. Okay, they're both on there, and that's how they look, and now we'll mount them. Okay, you got the caliper mounting bolts snugged up, and then you tor torque them up to 100 foot-pounds. Double check your torque specs, don't rely upon me. I'm just throwing a number out there, give you an idea. Okay, next what we're going to do is bring the piston in, and the electric parking brake system. You'll need two jumper wires and a small battery, 12 volt. Okay. And you might want to put a little bit of lube on the boot. Okay. 
allow it to spin without twisting the boot. Take a small screwdriver in there and lift up the boot, try not to rip it or tear it. And then you'll want to spray around it with some penetrant. Okay? And that way you can work it in it. Okay? Go around your screwdriver, it'll get in there and then wipe off the excess. Okay, I got a small 12 volt battery. You can use a battery charger or something, but you need to get some jumper cables, little leads that go in there and you put one on to the terminal inside there. And then when you get the other terminal, you want to just touch the other terminal. And as you're touching, you want to watch the piston and see if it retracts or extends. Okay? When you hear it, you'll hear it go. Okay, so it's extended. So now you need to reverse your polarity. Okay. I'm going to do that up at the battery because I want to keep this one on to the same spot. Okay, I replaced it at the battery. Now I'm going to touch it. Okay, now watch it. Okay, it didn't move, so it's retracting. So now I gotta push the piston in manually. Now here's a big pair of ch uh, channel locks. Okay, so now I need to press as far as I can press it, so now I gotta hook up my voltage again and sink it in more. Remember to hook it up the way you just last had it, okay? So you wanna reach in here and you wanna touch that one terminal. It quite a few times. Piston didn't move out, so I was going the right direction. So now I'm going to push it in with a pair of channel locks again. Okay, I push the piston in all the way as far as it's going to go. Careful, and you don't squeeze it too tight, and you'll bust this plastic. You can use a C clamp also, but do not put so much pressure on it that you'll bust this plastic. Okay, it pushes in fairly easy. Okay, so now all we got to do is put our caliper back on. Put our copper bolts in, and then uh, plug our connector back in. Okay. There is no inner and outer pad, so what you want to do is you want to put it in the bottom first, and then we're going to top. Push this clip up and push the pad in at the same time. And it goes right in. Okay. In there. Alright, now there isn't nothing on the back of the pad to, to line up any of these notches on the piston, so it's okay. You don't have to line up the piston like the older ones, you know, with a notch. Now we can just put the caliper on. Okay, you got your caliper bolts started, top and bottom, and make sure these are notched. Sometimes you're locking a piece sticking out on the caliper, but these aren't, they just spin. So, you're okay, you don't have to line them up. So now you do is snug these up, and then torque them down at 18 foot-pounds. You want to double check that torque spec, okay? If the slide pin bolts keep turning, just get a new and old pair of vice grips to hold them, and then tighten your uh, caliper bolt. Once you got them both tight, make sure you plug it back in. Here, quick. Pull on a little bit, it's good. Remove your vice grips or your lug nut. And there you go, you're all set. That's the rear brake. Do the other side the exact same way.